So now we are going to working on the receiver mechanism. So first you have to do is modify the this head of the cylinder. This is going to push the paintball. And this is the barrel. I'm going to at this side I'm going to cut a slot so the paintball can fall in. This is made of nylon. We let's say the piston. Uh, it has to be shaped in a cylinder so it can fit inside the tube. Yeah, really um, tight fit. Not very tight, but um, as tight as possible. Uh, this will push the paintball, and uh, the air that comes out from a QEV will sit here. So it has to be a um, zinger in this end, so the air has space to pass. Uh, I made this from a block of nylon. It's made on my drill press. I have a video about how to make pistons on drill press. You can check it out. So basically, you put it here. I made the M6 writing, the same as the cylinder, it's a match. So this one stays here, we have the barrel. Now, you have your cylinder. Check out the extension of this in case there is no air inside and in case there is air, see the maximum expansion. Put it here, use a ruler to figure out where the slot should be, then cut it. Now I have finished cut the slot. Here is the piston, it sits inside and you can see clearly the head of the piston right there. Here it is going to be connected to the hopper. Now we have to find out when the cylinder expands the maximum length and we check out where to drill the hole for the air of the QEV to pass. So now I have connected the cylinder to the viral receiver. Uh, I use tape around here. It's better use fiberglass resin and epoxy to reinforce it, but uh, right now it works. Here goes the paintball or whatever. Here goes to the exhaust port of the QEV. Right now I'm going to show you a simple way to connect them together, which is using a piece of PVC pipe. Both the cylinder and the barrel fit inside the PVC pipe. As you can see, it fits perfectly. Now we only have to drill a hole for the paintball to fall in and another hole to connect the PVC by using the, a ruler or just by eye I mark the two positions of the hole the first one I'm going to use a 12mm drill for the receiver and then second one I'm going to use an 18mm drill to make uh, the fitting that I need to fit the QED So as you can see, I finished this slot. Now I don't have to glue everything together. Right now I use hot glue, uh, but um, to have the gun with a reliability, I would suggest use epoxy or something strong enough. But right now, hot glue will do the trick. So now, see, it's finished. Here, this it's connected to the chamber, to the cylinder. So when the chamber is charged, in the normal condition, the, ch it's, the cylinder will expand and uh, push the paintball about this position, then fires. So here is the trigger. You see, it's actually quite uh, comfortable. Bullpup configuration. Now I have glued a half inch fitting here. You can put well, um, a hopper just by threading on use half inch threadings. So this is the finished gun. I gave it a little paint. Uh, also I adjust a little bit the pressure on this side so the 
the cylinder will retract completely for reliable loading. Right now I'm using this air tank with a precise regulator, but you can use a normal paintball tank with a regulator. Um, I also have a video about how to turn down the output pressure of a paintball regulator for safer use. So now let's see how it works. I try it on lower pressure. Okay, now let's see piston. See, it has fully extended. Okay, now I fire. The retract, we release the trigger, we expand, and retract. Also, you can feel a really nice recoil by the kicking of the piston of the cylinder.